Small boards versus big boards. What are the main performance differences between the two and which end of the scale will suit your style of skateboarding the most? There are benefits to both small and big boards and the style of skateboarding that you do is gonna dictate which size board you should most likely be riding. So I'm gonna be riding both of these boards today and going over the pros and cons of both sizes. Shout out to my man Jerry at Itchpig for sending me this board for the video. I've got a link to their website in the description below. All their boards are only $80 and they're pressed by Generator Woodshop, which is super high quality. So make sure you go check them out. So positive of a smaller board on the 8 inch side like this one is that the setup is going to be overall lighter. Having a lighter setup is going to help you jump higher, make your flip tricks spin and rotate faster and you won't be using as much energy to get this thing off the ground. It's been such a long time since I've skated a board this small so I'm weirdly keen to skate this thing and see what I can actually do on an 8 inch setup. Then I'll go over the negatives of a smaller board like this and then get into the 10 inch board. <laughs> Softer. I actually had so much fun skating this board, even though I didn't feel like I was 100% in control at all. It was super squirrely and I had not much riding surface to actually stand on. Especially when it comes to the flip tricks, that was the hardest part, actually slowing down the flick because of how light the board is. And I didn't have a lot to land on, so that was hard to get used to, but still super fun. So the negative of having a smaller board like this is having less surface area to stand on. This is going to give you less control and make your setup feel less stable. Plus, you've got less of a board to catch and land on when you are doing flip tricks. Now, on the other end of that, having a 10 inch board like this one has positives coming from how big the riding surface is on top here. So you've got a lot more room to stand on which is going to give you a lot more control and feel a lot more comfortable under your feet and you're going to have more board to catch and land on when you are doing flip tricks even though the flip tricks are going to be much harder to do on a bigger board like this which I'll talk about more when I go over the negatives of a bigger board like this. But first I want to get a little session in on this and see how much bigger it actually feels after riding the 8 inch board. That'll do. 
Skating this 10 inch board was such a struggle. I've skated this before and got used to how heavy it is, but coming from the eight inch setup to this, this was just such a heavy beast. And I actually struggled so much skating this thing. Felt more comfortable on the 10 inch board because I had more surface area to stand on and more board to land on when I was doing the flip tricks. Plus locking into grinds felt more comfortable because I had a bigger hanger space to lock into compared to the smaller trucks on the eight inch board. But unlike the eight inch board, when I was flipping this thing, it was so heavy and I was actually kicking so hard just to get it to rotate on a kickflip. But on the eight inch board, I had to slow down my flick because I was just over spinning it or over popping it. So that was weird to get used to. In a way, it's easy to do flip tricks on this for me because I know how hard I have to kick it. I basically flick it as hard as I can and that's what I need to do to get the flip tricks to work. So negatives of a bigger board up to a 10 inch like this one, it's obviously gonna be how heavy this thing is. This is gonna make your flip tricks way harder since it's gonna take a lot more energy to pop and flick this thing. And the board itself is gonna spin and rotate a lot slower. And the overall energy that you need to pop this thing or even ollie and get this thing off the ground is gonna be increased as well. So you're gonna get drained a lot faster riding something this big. So both big and small boards have their own list of positives and negatives. And it'll come down to the style of skateboarding that you wanna do to what size board you should most likely be riding. With the smaller board being lighter, that's gonna be more suited to flip tricks and technical ledge manual and rail tricks. With the bigger board having more riding surface being more suited to handrails, bowls and transition skating, and even slappies and cruising overall. Now you can do any type of skating on any size board as it does come down to personal preference and what feels better for you. But like I said, certain size boards are gonna help certain styles of skateboarding. So thanks again to the guys at Itchpig for sending me this board for the video. Make sure you go and check them out in the description below and check out this video here where I first set this board up and challenge myself to do all types of flip tricks on this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.